Hey chatters. So I'm going deep down the rabbit hole with data view JS and making buttons and programs of things that I want to do. So this one is going to be my social media generator. The plan is that what we wanted to do is just have a button that I can press. I'll have predefined prompts. It'll look at that note and send it off and then individually generate all the social media things that I need based on that note and the prompt that I sent. So we're going to go into the code and then I'm going to show you how it actually works. So first off, we're going to need an API key. So when you look at this, you're going to need to go to open router and get an API key and toss it in here. And what we're going to do is it's going to create a button and then it's going to do this call to open router and it's going to send the following prompts. One for LinkedIn, which I have defined here. You can change it. Instagram, YouTube, and create an image description. So I'll just make it as easy as possible. One button, it'll get all that stuff done for me right in the note and put it right in there for me. So it's all in one spot and just reduce that friction. You can choose any kind of model you want. Right now I'm using open router so I can use anything. So let's go with AI. GPT 4.0. You can change this to whatever you want. And then I'm formatting it a specific way, which I'll show you in a moment. That's pretty much it. The rest of this is styling. You don't really need to know too much about this. And that's about it. Let's head into a note and let's actually see how this is going to work. All I'm going to do is copy and paste that code block with data view JS and all that code in here. You'll see it's in here and I'll just go to reading mode for now. I'll make the button show up easy. And here you see it says generate social media and where that we put that code block. So I'm going to click that and right now it's sending it off everything that's in here with those prompts. And you can see here in a couple of seconds, it is now given all these prompts. Now I have it come up in a modal, assuming you might want to read it first before hitting OK. Make your little changes in here, make it a little easier. But once we feel good, we can either add text. If we don't like it at all, we just hit revise. But if I do the add text, it just puts it all in here. And like I said, nicely formatted. We get this little drop down here. So that's it for this quick little code block you can do in DataViewJS. I hope you have some fun with this tool inside of Obsidian.